in there. What? That light. Oh, the red. Yeah, it's a chicken roaster sign. It's right across from my window. Can't you shut the shades? They are shut. <laughs> I can't believe your father owns this place. So, how are the desserts here? <laughs> Everything is delicious. You've tasted them? Mm-hmm. I think almost all of them. Mm. Oh, I see they have apple pie. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've had the apple pie? Many times. Audrey, I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm a very curious guy. It's my nature. I need to know things. Not tasting the apple pie the other day. I can't get past it. You obviously like pies. You carry donuts in your bag. You're not averse to pastry. Surely you can see how such a thing would prey on my mind. Can we drop this? Why can't I know? Oh, Poppy. Oh, sweetheart, hello. Poppy, this is Jerry. Uh, well, hello, uh, Poppy. Uh, uh, don't fill up on the bread, eh? I'm making you a very special dinner. Very special. The pies. I'm going to the bathroom. You know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. Tonight, you in it for a real treat. I'm personally going to prepare the dinner for you and the Audrey. Jerry, you okay? Huh? Is anything wrong? Hey, nothing. You look like you've seen a ghost. No one. I'm sorry, Mr. Pitt, that that won't happen again. I'm sure it won't. But someone was crying, and I want to know who it was. Well, it's a long story, okay? But my stupid friend Jerry told my other friend Noreen that she was... Uh, you know, hitting on him. And so I called her to see what was... Uh, going on, and I accidentally got her boyfriend, who is this, you know. There you go, buddy. What is it? It's few silly Jerry. <laughs> it's made from few silly pasta. See the microphone? When did you do this? On my spare time. <laughs> You know, I'm working on one of you, George. I'm using ravioli. <laughs> See, the hard part is to find a pasta that captures the individual. Yeah. Why if you silly? Because you're silly. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Have you decided? Oh, get the swordfish. Best swordfish in the city. The best, Jerry. I'll have the salmon. <laughs> and you? Uh, you know what I think? I'm just gonna have soup. Yeah, I'll save the meal for another time. <laughs> another time? What other time? I had a hot dog earlier. I'm not that hungry. No, no, Ben, you know. This is the dinner. The soup counts. <laughs> Soup's not a meal. You were supposed to buy me a meal. I'm not stopping you from eating. Go ahead and eat, get anything you want. But I don't want anything but soup. Then that's the meal. <laughs> but I had the hot dog. 
dog. I didn't tell you to have a hot dog. Who told you to have a hot dog? Hey, I give you a brand new Armani suit, and you won't even buy me a meal. All right, fine. Get the soup. Costanzo, <laughs> what, what, what is that you're reading over there? That looks pretty tasty. It's a calzone, sir. Calzone, huh? Yeah, let's see it. Pass that on down. Let's get a little look at that. Big Stein wants a little taste. Come on, come on. Yeah, sit down here. That's a good boy. Okay, let's do... Hey, what's in this thing? Uh, cheese, pepperoni, uh, eggplant. Uh... Eggplant, huh? Mm, that's a hell of a thing. All right, all right. Back to business. Here you go. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent little calzone you got there, Costanza. Okay, I'm a little jealous. All right, here we go. Like I told you last week, the renovation of the press box is taking too long. All right. Well, you know, that eggplant was very good. Very good. Everybody out. I got eggplant on my mind. Costanza, go get me a couple of calzones right now. Pronto, move it out. Big Stein wants an eggplant calzone. He must have one. Everybody out. Hurry up. Hurry up. So you broke up. You couldn't carry on a conversation. I kept trying to picture her naked. She kept trying to not picture me naked. Hang on. So what are you up to? Oh, just cooking up a little thank you for Putty. Hey, how do you make those radish roses? Insert a knife into the center and twist. Then, to make it bloom, soak it in water for 30 to 40 minutes. No problem there. What? What is this? Veggie sandwich and a grapefruit. Veggie sandwich and a grapefruit? What are you turning into? A healthy person. <laughs> ow! Ow, you squirted me! Oh, sorry. Boy, that stings! What are you doing? What? Did... Did you just double-dip that chip? Excuse me? You double-dipped the chip! Double-dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. <laughs> so? That's like putting your whole mouth right in the dip. <laughs> Look, from now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Timmy. <laughs> but I don't dip that way. Oh, you don't, huh? No. You dip the way you want to dip. I'll dip the way I want to dip. Give me the chip! Hey, hey, hey! Get off me! Get me. See, everybody can do this. Mm. Here. <laughs> Mama, use your wrist. It's all in the wrist. Whoa! Not it too hard! Ah, yeah. Very good. That's it. Very good. Ah, sauce on here. Hey, Mama Young, did you bring it? Cheese. Not it too much. And cucumbers. <laughs> Wait a second. What is it that? It's cucumbers. No, no, you can't put a cucumber on a pizza. Well, why not? I like cucumbers. That's a not a pizza. It'll taste terrible. Yeah, but that's the idea. You make your own pie. Yes, but we cannot give the people the right to choose any topping they want. <laughs> now, on this issue, there can be no debate. What gives you the right to tell me how I would make my pie? Because it's a pizza. It's not a pizza till it comes out of the oven. It's a pizza the moment you put your fist in the dough. No, <laughs> it isn't. Yes, it is. Good afternoon. One large crab bisque to go. Red. Beautiful. You're pushing your luck, little man. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Hey there. Um, uh... <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. One mulligatani and, um... What is that right there? Is that lima bean? Yes. Never been a big fan. <laughs> um... You know what? Does, has anyone ever told you you look exactly like Al Pacino? You know, a scent of a woman. hoo ah hoo -ah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. You know something? Mm. No soup for you! <laughs> Come back. One year. <laughs> Next. Hey. This George! Hold on, gal. It's a scorcher. <laughs> Boy, 
I bet you that guy could cover a lot of court. Hey, buddy, they got a new invention. It's called a napkin. <laughs> well, we'll take a station break and continue with more action. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> spicy mustard. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. you are hot tonight. <laughs> oh, George. Now for the trifecta. <laughs> mm. George? Mm -hmm. George? Mm. What are you doing? Pleasuring you? What is this? Oh, we're making sausages. I thought you were going to watch a video. Well, yeah, an instructional video on how to make your own sausages. Kramer, I'm not in the mood for this. All right, all right. Newman, let's go grab some mail sacks and haul these beauties out of here. Over there, sausage over here. I'm living in a slaughterhouse. What's it? The Mackinac beaches, Jerry. The Mackinac beaches. Uh, right, the ones uh, from Oregon that are only ripe for two weeks yeah, a that's year. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I split a taste with Newman. I wait all year for this. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Makes your taste buds come alive. It's like having a circus in your mouth. <laughs> Take a taste. No, I don't no, come on, just take a taste. I don't want it. Come on, I don't just want take it. a taste. I, don't want it. I am not going to taste your peach. I ate someone's pecan last night. I'm not going to eat your peach. Jerry, this is a miracle of nature that exists for a brief period. It's like the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> about this candelabra. Yeah, that was Grandma Mamma's also. She bought it on her trip to Europe in 1926. Jerry, I'm thrilled you like my mutton. I was afraid you only ate salad. Hey, <laughs> salad's got nothing on this mutton. That is so funny. Did you just make that up? I wish I could take credit for it. It's actually a line my butcher uses when we're chewing the fat. <laughs> How about that beautiful uh, desk over there? <laughs> Yes. What'd you do? Did you ransack the place after she died? This is some fine mutton. I'm getting out of here. Can I borrow your jacket? Um, well, uh, the thing is It's that cold it... out, okay? I didn't bring my own. Okay. Yeah. Jerry? Jerry? God forbid I should borrow one from Holly. Might have belonged to Grandma Mima. Thanks for mutton. <laughs> What? <laughs> Grandma Mem's napkins. Two are missing. <laughs> Elaine took them, didn't she? I don't know about that. Have you got any floss? You heard her. She coveted them. I bet she took them just to spite me. She's probably having a good laugh about it right now. <laughs> I'm talking! <laughs> 